Come quick, there's been a holdout. Now open up. There it is, officer, down there. Down there, with the Hurry up. Signal 30, all cars, signal 30. Cover area, west side, Canal Street to Columbus Circle. Watch all subway entrances and exits. Wanted, the Spinaldi brothers, Alberto 30, Frank 34. Height 5 feet 11, black hair, black mustaches. Now fan out. I want every cafe and spaghetti place from Mulberry Hill to 116th Street covered. I don't have to tell you how to deal with killers of this type, that's all. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Knox Matting speaking to you from the steps of the 16th Precinct Station House. The greatest manhunt in the history of metropolitan crime is on for the notorious Finaldi brothers, identified by eyewitnesses as the two men who massacred two subway guards and a ticket agent. So far, the dragnet has brought in 15 suspects, but none of them are the Spinaldi brothers. There's a cab just stopped at the curb, ladies and gentlemen, but there's no one in it, and the driver's getting out alone, so apparently there's no new development there. However, believe me, there's plenty of excitement down here on this sidewalk, as the photographer's bulbs are snapping away as they're taking pictures of these famous detectives and inspectors to sign that it's very... Yes, I mean, Give me the city desk. Uh, listen, Chief, I just want... Just a minute, you... you. Here's that list of numbers. If any of them check in, let me know about it. I hear them once. I already checked, Inspector. Put out that reefer, you. What's on your mind, you? Do you still want them Spinaldi brothers? A wise hacky. I'll give you the answer off of the end of a nightstick. All right, all right. I'll take them down to headquarters. What's going on, Mulvaney? This hacky walks in and says, do we still want the Spinaldi brothers? Well, that's what I said. You got any information? I got the Spinaldi brothers. Did you hear that? Yeah, did you? Wait a minute. Am I in a homicide girl of the wacky ward? I said I had the Spinaldi brothers. Where? Where? Well, they're right out here in my cab. I just... Another suspect has just been seized by the police, ladies and gentlemen, in the great manhunt for the Spinaldi brothers. Just a minute, and I'll try and get his name. Oh, there they are. The Spinaldi brothers. Holy saints, it is them! Get them out of there! Get, right, get back out, out of there! Boy, they really got them wrapped up, too. They were really fucked. They took a trim. Look at his head. What are you doing? How'd he keep it? Oh, hit him with a wrench. Got him his own wheat chains on. That'll be a dollar eighty. I looked it from 112th and Madison. Later, later! See, what goes, fella? Where'd you find it? The police have been looking all over. Come out of it, fella. Do you know what you've done? With 17,000 cops on the prowl, you had to bring in the Spinali brother. Come on, give us something. Give us something. What are you talking about? Have you got a match? Sure. We've got everything. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Madonna with some... Got your pencils out? My well, name's Tracy. Joe Tracy. You spell it with an E. proposition to you is strictly of a business nature. Consider it in that light. $2,500. We will pay you $1,000 in advance here. The balance in Chung King. Plus a bonus of $200 for every loaded truck that gets there. I get it. What you're angling for with me is the publicity. Partly, yes. Your name connected with the delivery of the medical supplies to Chung King will be of great value to us. And to yourself. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Dad, you mean any hacky can tool a truck over that Burma Road? Only the best hacky. It's not like your Lincoln Highway. <laughs> Road's a road, even if it ain't got that shaving cream poetry on it. You see, the trucks will go under their own power to San Francisco, and then by boat to Rangoon. They will proceed through the British Crown Colony of Burma, north to La Chiu. At Wan Ting on the border, they will cross into China. We need a strong, resourceful man to guide us over this single artery to the heart of our nation, Chung King. Well, thanks, gentlemen, very much for the offer, but the things are just beginning to break for me here in New York, see? So, well, I think I better stick around. <laughs>
Cory Choi, Pundi Saman Jai Lai Dona. The school children with their donations, they may come in. What are they singing? What, what's it mean? You have to know what the Burma Road means to us Chinese. It's sacred. The people scratched it out of the mountains with their fingernails. And whenever it's threatened, this is a song of the volunteers. Five Brothers Society, who is speaking, please? Oh, yes, he's here. But he's not agreed to take the job. The resourceful American press has somehow been tipped off, as you say, that you would lead us on a drive to Chungking. Hey, this is Tracy speaking. Yeah, yeah, Joe Tracy. You spell it with an E. My plan is to drive the trucks to San Francisco under their own power, and then by boat to Rangoon. Rangoon, R-A-N-G-U-N-E. I believe that answers your question, Mrs. Farwood. Not at all. I, I still don't know why I can't get through to Chungking. Because your husband's no longer in Chungking. Well, how do you know that? The last we heard of Tom Farwood, he was flying for the Japanese. I don't believe it. it it's ridiculous. Your husband was born in Germany. Obviously, his allegiance is with Germany and her allies. But he's lived in the United States since he was a child. But he's a man now, and an enemy of England and China. I... I don't suppose there's anything I can do about this. Not a thing. Good day, Mrs. Farwood. Your passport will be returned to you when you board the boat to the United States in 48 hours. 48 hours? Wait a minute, I haven't done anything. Your boat leaves in 48 hours, Mrs. Farwood. When a reporters come, send them right up, will you? Yes, Mr. Tracy. You're much handsomer than your pictures. Oh, you, you think so? You mm. read about me? I read all the American magazines. Well, so I'm no stranger here. Oh, no, Mrs. <laughs> Tracy, not to me. Well, don't keep the press waiting now. I won't. Not a bad-looking woman. Who's that, Stanley or Livingston? That's a countryman of yours. Haven't you read about him? I haven't read anything all day except steamship folder. Oh, so he's going to Chungking. What did you say? Hmm? Oh, I said he's very lucky. Yes, yes, he is. Maybe I am too. Wake up, snap out of it. Hey. Well, you, you feel better now? It's all oh, right. yes, much better. Oh. Did, did, did those lose any valuables? No, I don't think they had time to take anything. Thanks to you, Mr. Uh, Tracy, Joe Tracy. Why, of course. 
Does the name ring a bell? Oh, naturally, with the, the capture of those criminals in New York. Criminals? Hey, those Penali brothers will kill us, poison and pants. Well, you know how bare it sounds when you just read about it. That's right. They give the story rotten coverage, rotten. Well, uh, tell me, how did you do it? Do you really want to hear? From your own lips. Well, there were 17,000 police, sleepless and alert, waiting for a dragnet to haul in the Spinaldi brothers. It was as dark as the inside of a doghouse, and I was cruising along. Boom! And two minutes later, they were in my cab, trussed up like chickens. Well, I, I can certainly see why they chose you to lead the caravan. Well, it ain't who's chivying them lorries, it's how many of them get there that counts. Oh, nevertheless, you, you had daring and courage and, and initiative. Initiative, that, that's the word the Times used. Well, I suppose I'll see you in Chungking. Yeah? yeah well, what makes a girl like you go carting off to a bird like Chungking? Oh, call it uh, not losing face. Oh, that, that face stuff, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, you see, I, I have a friend in Chungking, uh, a Chinese girl. We went to finishing school together. Ah. Well, I suppose I should go see about my ticket on the plane. Uh, no, wait a minute. The flying isn't any way to travel. To really see the country, you've got to look at it from all the angles. Like uh, out of the windshield of a truck. Do you really think so? Mr. Tracy. Mr. Tracy, I'm afraid we're going to be delayed. There's no gasoline. Oh, well, we'll... Talk business back in my room. Mr. Tracy, this is most important. All right, all right. Well, so long, Miss... Um... Farwood. Gail Farwood. Farwood. And thank you for everything. We have only a few gallons, not enough to take us ten miles. We had our order in, but the army commandeered it. So we'll wait. I'd like to see the sights of this burg anyway, you know. This is the furthest I've ever been away from Columbus Circle. But this is urgent. All right, all right. Don't flood your carburetor. I'll take care of it when I get around to it. Very well, sir. Uh, shall I show you something of Rangoon? They have very colorful nightclubs in the city. Good idea. But, uh, you and I look pretty silly dancing together. I got a different idea. What are they what are they doing here? Oh, playing Mahjong. Oh, I seen him play that in New York. Gee, that game got out of here fast. Are these your drivers? Yeah, and don't laugh, the hand picked by Kim Howe. Which is your truck? The lead truck, the number one buggy, right over there. I got nothing against traveling by plane, see? But all the air I want between me and the ground is what's right here in these tires. Why don't you forget the plane? And walk to Chunking? Oh, I'll figure something out. Yeah, if I could only convince you that riding... Well, what are we going to use for gas? Well, so it'll take a couple of days to fuel up. In the meantime, we can romp and play. But I must be out of here by tomorrow. Hey, wait a minute. Suppose we could get rolling out of here tonight. Oh, really, could you, Joe? Kim, come here. How far does this rattler go? Lashio, the end of the line. It's on our way, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Break up that Chinese domino session. Hustle the boxes off those flat guys. But, Mr. Tracy... Are you with me? With the man who captured the Spinaldi brothers? All the way. Hello, baby. What's going on here? What are you going to do? You're going to go to the house. You're going to go to the house. You're going to go to the house. 
He was trying to trade the horn, too, Mr. Tracy. Oh, the horn, too, Go huh? on, we'll get out of here. Oh, 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 This is Wayne. He's one of our drivers. Yeah, he was. Tell him he's chopped. See, Tom, Wayne, how's he so long? My phone will go, sir. Listen, sir. Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you he says he's sorry. He was afraid he wouldn't get enough to eat on the trip. Now, what's he want on a menu, pheasant? <laughs> Merely chicken. But now he's willing to work for no pay, just for his rice. Can I get along all this in town? He asks you to forgive him. Uh, excuse, please. Please. All right, this time. Next time, chop. My duty. <laughs> All aboard, Burma Road Limited, leaving on track number one, last show, and all points north. Get right in the observation, uh, lady. When I get lonely, I don't look at the clock. Are well, you going to like it here? Will I? And to think you practically had to kidnap me. Uh, it's cozy here. Yeah, that's the word. Cozy. Uh-oh. He's on the mound. Any minute, he'll start pitching. I'm renting it for the season. It's convenient to the school and the streetcar lines. Oh, it's a model home. Well, now, that makes you the model American wife. Oh, take it easy, dear. I know you've had a very trying day bending over a hot typewriter at the office. Maybe I can laugh him out of it. What kind of a guy does she think I am? All I want is just one little kiss. Uh, hand me that bottle, will you, baby? And uh, sit down a minute. What is it, horse liniment? Uh, Kim Howe gave it to us. Open of his esteem for you and me both. I still don't know what it is. Well, it's what the Chinese drink at weddings. A romance in every bottle and no hangovers. Make believe you don't get it. Let's keep it. And whichever one of us gets married first, gets it. And whoever wins it three times in succession, gets permanent possession. Oh, a wise guy. Well, there ain't no law says only married folk can drink at Yale. We can drink it to celebrate any kind of a contract. Like me agreeing to take you to Chungking. That wasn't in the contract, Joe. Oh, well, uh, there's a little clause in all these contracts down at the bottom in small print. See? If this is what the small print says, it's pretty small. Now look, Gail. This is Joe. Joe Tracy. I know how to spell it. So you're smart. But an act smart. You come up pretty like, tell Joey you're sorry, and we'll have a drink of this. But if you don't want to play, Rangoon ain't so far behind, you'd get fallen arches walking back. I could kiss him just once. No, I won't do it. What was that for? Just to let you know I don't mind walking back. Oh, yeah? Well, nobody can make a fool out of you. No, no, the bed's on fire. Nice going. Here, use this. Ah, oh, no, that's all right. I'll get a fire extinguisher. There's one up in front of the truck. All right, I'll get it. Wait, lay not. Wait, take it. Take hey, get that I valuable stuff on. I have what you got. I fix. I fix. Oh, what are you doing? Joe, you'll hear the extinguisher. Okay, kid. I got it. Oh, Joe. Joe, you're hurt. Go, Joe. Oh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Come on, let me fix it outside. Oh, you poor boy. And it's all my fault. 
I didn't mean for it to turn out this way. Oh, I can't begin to tell you how sorry I am. Now, this won't hurt. I took a course in first aid, and I know everything about it. Who applied bandage, please? Oh, there's a girlfriend of mine. Egyptian lady, huh? No, no, no. She's an American girl. Oh, I, I, I told her she was putting on too much bandage. American girl, make it hard for you to use hand. Yeah, she sure did. How do you like that? I beg your pardon? What do you know about that? Joe with an E? I gotta talk to you. I was just about to turn in, Joe. Uh, I only wanted a minute. You know, if there was a real store in town, I'd like to buy you a nice present. Well, that's very sweet. Mm -hmm. I owe you a lot, Gail. Doc told me if it wasn't for you, I, I'd probably be scarred for life. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Said my hands were burned so bad that if it wasn't protected, well, I probably couldn't drive a hack no more. Well, I'm sure he's a very good doctor. Yeah. Oh, it was nice of you, Gail. After he told me, I, I began thinking, I said, now, what, what can I do to pay Gail back for what she did? Well, I hope you've made up your mind about it. Yes, sir, I made up my mind. I decided I ought to give you a good push right in the face. Joe! Now, don't go pulling a wing ding. We can take a joke just like anybody else. We'll have ourselves a drink. Begin all over again on page one. Right back. You got two strikes on me, but I ain't out yet. He says he was only having fun. Having fun? Why didn't you stop when I told you? What's the matter? Doesn't he know I'm boss? Wings says he's sorry he didn't recognize you. All white men look alike to him. The experts. <laughs> hey, Kevin, will you tear those guys away from their game long enough to fill the crankcases? I'm sorry, Mr. Tracy, but they've retired for the night. Bless their little hearts. So they've retired. No, no. All right, you guys, snap out of it. Come on, we got work to do. What's going on here? Break that up, break that up. Come on, let's get going. All right, roll out of here before I come in and treat you like a gong. Come on, you... Oh, we got squatters, huh? Yellow fish. What? The passengers. The driver of the truck has sold them accommodations. Deadheads, huh? Not on my string. Get the driver. Get him here. Bingo, don't you? I'm too late. Oh, so it's you again, huh? So you're running a taxi cab now, huh? I'm going to get him all the time. He says he's sorry. Oh, he's always sorry. Shall I turn him to listen up? I'm going to get him all Oh, look, get, get the driver, see? Tell him to check the oil and batteries. And, and tell him, tell him if, if he takes on any more passengers, or I'll cut him up and sell him for goldfish food. Tell him that. I need joy, fun lie. Oh, 
Is that you, Joe? Well, you look tired. You better sit down. Me tired? No, no, no. Get the glasses. We'll have a dram of this Burma Road Five Star here. Oh, here, let me do that. Come on, sit down. You've had a very trying day. Oh, that's right. Another day like this, boy, you can write me off. Oh, you poor boy. All right. Let's not start that again. Why, Joe? How about that mandarin soup? Oh, yes, the nightcap. Yeah. Oh, those trucks. What's the matter? I don't know. I'm worried about them. All that ether and drugs and stuff. Suppose something should happen to one of them loads. You know, you really have been loaded wrong. How's that? Well, it, it reminds me of when I was a little girl on a Sunday school picnic. We had all the sandwiches packed in one basket, all oh. the eggs in another, and the pickles in still another. And the little boy who was carrying the pickles lost his basket. Uh, he fell over a waterfall. Well, that's tough. And what's a picnic without pickles? A washout. Complete. Well, you see, you have all the bandages loaded onto one truck, and all the antiseptic onto another, and all the ether on still another truck. If one of them was lost, Yeah, like... okay, okay. Oh, I'm no, sold. no, you stay here. I'll... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. come on. You just lie down here and rest. I'll tell Kim how just what you want done. Well, all right. Strike three, you're out. Give any of the droops. You got your mouth in the shape of a coat hanger. I'm going to tell you, Joe. Later. Oh, what's the matter with now? You know, you helped me pass the detour last night when I had trucks on my mind. Oh, that was easy. It didn't take courage. This does, and I haven't got it. Okay, let it simmer. I'm not going to crowd you. All right, one thing. That's that's where we're crossing the China. Do we have to stop there? Yeah, Kim House says so. Border inspection. Well, he's good old one thing. Do you like talking now? No, not until we cross the border. It's in the center of the city, isn't it? Okay, then I'll talk. This takes courage, too. Uh, you know, Gail... Uh, well, you know, back back in New York, every night I'm hacking late. I get at least one couple that want to be driven slow around Central Park. And they, they forget I'm in a cab with them. Riding, too. Thinking. Yeah, most, mostly I'm thinking it would be a lot easier for me to be piloting them lovey doves if I could... Figure on a girl of my own being there every night when I check in my fares to sort of put a pillow under my head. If, if I could see that ahead of me, I'd turn this heap around right now and head for City Hall by way of Central Park. Oh, oh please, Joey. You're making it much harder for me. Joe, do you mind if I get him back? Uh, no, 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 right here. Joe. Mm, 
Mary, go on, lie down. I'll, I'll call you. Joe, when they stop you at the border, are you going to say I'm with you? Why not? Well, I'd rather you didn't. Okay. Uh, General, here, here are the orders. Straight out of them. Sorry, Bingo The lieutenant says never mind the papers. He knows they're all right. Oh, well, in that case, have the men check over the oil tires and batteries. We'll leave immediately. What's he saying? The commandant wants to speak to you regarding an American girl traveling without a passport. I would suggest that you talk to the commandant. You see, Mr. Tracy, we have been informed that she has attached herself to some motor convoy. Oh, well, I, I wouldn't know anything about that. I have too much respect and admiration for what you are doing for China to doubt your word. There'll be no search made. Well, thanks, Colonel. You may proceed across the border whenever you are ready. So what, what's this girl done? They won't let her travel in China. Nothing yet, but she may prove an embarrassment to us. Well, what I heard was she was just keeping a date with some friend in Chongqing. That friend, Mr. Tracy, is one of China's enemies. It happens that he is now a prisoner. He? Yes, a traitor named Forward, her husband. Thanks, Colonel. All out, last stop. Well, you haven't crossed yet. I've been crossed. Joe. If you pick him up and lay him down real pretty, maybe you can hitchhike your way back to Rangoon with some other chump's convoy. This is the end of the line, Mrs. Farwood. Oh, please, Joe. This is what I couldn't tell you. What I didn't have the courage to say. Somebody said it for you. Now, breeze. Listen to what any woman would do, Joe. No. Not any woman. Only the kind that blow along like leaves in Central Park. Just as easy to pick up. Maybe you're right. I shouldn't have tried to fool you. I must have been out of marbles not to see the whole blueprint. You're conning me along, that hold-up gag back in the hotel crooning me into a coma back there in Lasho. All right, Joe. It's up to you. All set, Mr. Tracy. Get them rolling. I want you to know, Al. I'll, I'll never forget what you said about seeing me when you checked in your fares. Someday there'll be a girl there, Joe. And I'll envy her all of my life. Get back under there. I might change their mind about searching the trucks. Hey, I Kim. I won't be eating this anymore. But it's a gift. Uh, save it for your own way.
Chilai, that means arise. Huh? You'll hear it a lot in China. Chilai? Look at that. Arise, boy, they've risen. The dragon wakes. What's that? That's what they call China, the dragon. A long tail. Where are they going? Oh, maybe just to fix a break in the road. Skibby's bombed the road, but that won't stop us. Confucius say now. Confucius has no comment on this. But Nietzsche says, be hard, live dangerously. Nietzsche, huh? Boy, they sure grow a lot of these philosophy slingers there in China. <laughs> these guys probably never heard of Nietzsche. Are you by any chance thinking of... Be hard, baby. Live dangerously. Hey, Kim. Yes, Mr. Tracy? What do you think? There will be thousands of people along soon to repair this road, but... Uh, but what? Well, uh, it'll take some time to clear this slide away. How long? You see, with no machinery, it's... When I hit a closed road, does a passenger wait until they lay down fresh asphalt? No. Oh. In China, it's... Uh... I'm taking the trucks down one at a time. The rest of you can follow down the slope on your hams. Hey, Kim, tell those guys to swing out the end of the barrier so I can get through. Fighty, fighty, ling hoi kua chap. Hola. Hola yourself. All right, you guys, get out of there now. What you want to do that for? You picked me up on the Burma Road, Joe. Not like a leaf in Central Park. Well, I know, but that's...
Hey, Kim, yell up to those guys to hold it. I'll bring the rest of them down. No, Mr. Tracy, you must let them do it. If not, they will lose face on your account and because the lady has shown bravery, too. Those guys are all right in the flat, but they've never driven a hack in Washington Heights. You must allow them. Okay. But if they got any jaw sticks, they better burn them right now. did they tell you about my, about Tom Farwood and one team? That was a little too burned to ask questions. Well, have they tried him by court-martial? I don't know. What's he done? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find out. Uh, well, when you get to Chunk King, you get it straight from the horse's mouth. Mind if I ask you something? No. Well, this, uh, this Tom Farwood, this husband of yours, what's he got that makes you come all the way from Chicago to Rangoon and fight your way over the... Burma Road to get to him. What's any man got except the word of the girl he marries that she's his? That she's his for good or bad? No, no, no. I mean, uh, what kind of a guy is he? Only two types I know that women go to pieces over. The hero and the heel. Well, Tom was a flyer. I see. He wore a pair of wings where I wore a heck badge. He was a crack pilot. Yeah, well, he flew himself into a spot. Maybe that's it. I wonder if there are enough women like that to go around for the heels as well as for the heroes. Maybe, Joe, there isn't so much difference between those two words. I know Tom is a little bit of both. Well, um, which one am I? You're a lot like Tom. <laughs> Fish, you get full fish, you know. Chap bombers, all lights out. Get the men off the road before those chap butchers make out so out of it. We're not the target, Mr. Tracy. They're out to bomb the Kunming Bridge up the road. That's the one we're supposed to cross. Let's try it. Chinchilla! Chinchilla! They just skipped the gutter. There's an emergency road up through the hills. What do you look for, Chin? It takes us past Far Chin. He says it's dangerous. Oh, they, uh, they're, they're bombing it, huh? Among other things, he thinks the enemy may be attempting a breakthrough to Chungking. Yeah. Okay, let's go. A lot tougher than you figured, isn't it? Well, in lots of ways. 
Oh, you really got to hand it to these Chinese, Gail? Sure you do, Joe. They're doing a swell job, and they're doing it alone. Every time the Japs try to take the Bremer Road, they keep pushing them back. They're still hundreds of miles away. I'm sold on them. I came here, kind of a Joe Blow guy with my eyes peeled for whatever I could get out of this place. When you rack me up with guys like Kim Howe and Wing and the rest of those fellas, I figure it's a break to be with them. I made a mistake a little while back. You're not like Tom Fowler. We're pretty far from the Burma Road now, aren't we, Joe? Uh, yeah, we're about 300 miles away from it. This far she we're coming to is pretty close to the Jap lines. Oh, don't worry about it. Kim Ha says the place is full of Chinese soldiers. Irregulars, but mighty good in a pinch. Oh, here we are, far Shen. Well, will you look at that? Ask them what happened to the town. What they had Wait, what's she saying? This town was bombed by the Japanese. She lost a daughter and two grandchildren. She says she has only one thing to be grateful for. She still has life to fight back. That's what you call tough, Mrs. Farwood. Well, what's the matter with them? I would rather not tell you. Come on, come on, what's the matter? He heard the name Farwood. That's the name of a white man, a German who was flying with the Japanese. He was forced down not far from here. Tom Farwood? Are you sure? He's sure. He says that Farwood is now being held prisoner at guerrilla headquarters right outside of Shanlu. I, uh, I guess this would be a good time for you to be starting back. Oh, I can't now. Well, I won't leave you alone in this town. I'll lay up until another convoy heads down to Lasho. No, I, I've come this far if, if I didn't see it through. I can't explain it, Joe. Are you trying to make an alibi for him no, for this? No, no, it isn't that. Oh. I understand. In New York, I used to drive them to the tombs to see their husbands. A couple of times, even up the river to Sing Sing. So I guess I know how it is with you. Thanks, Joe. That's how it is. It's the way out. How it ought to be, I guess. Please take me to him, Joe. Okay. Hey, Kim, uh, I'm gonna scout up ahead. I wouldn't advise it, Mr. Tracy. Yeah, well, it'll be all right. You're going toward Shan Lu, which is held by the Japanese. If I'm not back by tonight, why, come up and get me. Far 
far, Joe? No, only a few miles, I think. Like that. Yeah, 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 it's all right. The rest of the caravan is back in Farshen. Right, right now, what I'm looking for is a white man. Me, yeah? Yeah, a, 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 a white man. Yeah, a, a, a flyer. Eh? Oh, Oh, hi, hi, Nubian. Hi, hi, Nubian. Simple like that. Hi, Nubian. Gail. Hello, Tom. Uh, this is Joe Tracy. I wouldn't have gotten here without him. Well, thanks. On the house. All the way down the truck. Oh, wait a minute, Tracy. Your job's only half done. They've got to figure some way of getting me out of here. Well, that'll take a lot of figuring. Well, I'll make it worth your while once I get back to Tokyo. There are all kinds of money. Some I like, some I don't. What's the matter? Did you two just come from a revival meeting? No. We came through Fashien. We saw those kids in those burnt homes. Well, now, don't get sentimental over the Chinese. I work for them. I work for a lot of people, Tracy. I've dropped bombs on a lot of places. Spain, Morocco, Ethiopia, and China. I wouldn't know anything about that. I'm just a hack driver. Don't look so shocked, Gail. It's no secret to you. You used to think I was mighty romantic, didn't you? I'm a little shocked at myself for thinking it was romantic. I've seen it now. Well, we can't get emotional about it. Let's get practical. You got a price? Look, Farwood, let's get a lot of things straight. If it was all up to me, I wouldn't care if they shot you right here. You don't mean nothing. But Gail wants you to get a fair shake. So if I can get you through to Chongqing, you'll ride free. Oh, well, that, that's fine. With the Generalissimo's troops, I'll be treated as a prisoner of war. Well, I got a lot of funny rules in war. And some of them I don't understand. Okay. I'll take you to Chongqing. After that, you're on your own. I guess that's the way you want it. I don't get it. Put that gun down, Kim. If this man tries to escape, or if you try to help him, Mr. Tracy, I will be forced to shoot both of you. Well, I wouldn't blame you. Is this the general? He has no rank. His name is Eng Ma. He's the leader of the guerrillas in this district. Uh, let's you and me and the general have a little talk, Kim. Very well, Mr. Tracy. Oh, it's not like it used to be. Nothing is like it used to be. Something between you and Tracy, isn't there? Yes, but I didn't know about it before you put your arms around me. I get it. Crunked out. Dead motor. I'm not going to say all the things I'm thinking or all the things I feel because that would be hitting below the belt. I said I was going to see you through this and I'm going to. Oh, that's noble of you, Gail. You know what I ought to do? I ought to let you go back. I ought to forget about everything right now. Let them do what they want. That would be noble of me. But I'm not that noble. I'm going to use all the chances I can get, and you're going to help me get those chances. It won't be the first time, Gail. We've been through things like this before. Remember our barnstorming trip? The night we were lost in the storm over Omaha? You were praying for me that night, Gail. For both of us. And we got through. I wish I hadn't prayed. I wish we hadn't got through. Uh. So he don't believe me. He would like to. He knows that every hour the medical supplies in our trucks don't reach Chongqing, China dies another inch. He's telling me. I told him what my deal was. He turns over Tom Fowler to me. I blast through to Chen Lu for him. For China. Uh, all right. For China. He says Tom Farwood is a traitor. He will be shot tonight. Oh, 
Now, look, Jim, look. In our country, nobody's guilty until he's had a trial. You know that. But he isn't convinced he's making a good trade with you. Oh, so he thinks I'm just a Joe Blow guy, huh? Well, wait a minute. Here. Here, you, you read those. Mun Patting us on the back, trying to find a soft spot to stick the knife. Those rats. All right, they ask for it. We'll get a couple of licks in on our own. Hey, look, we're partners now, see? Allies. They started something, we'll finish it. You tell them to bring on his men. Yeah, All the men he can find. Tell them to come here with gun yeah, shovels, you, anything you, they can get. Hey, see? We're going to take Shen Lu. We're going to blast those skippies out. Tonight! Come on, men! All the men! like Chinese Christmas trees than the Fighting 69th, but I guess they'll do. You pay, Xiong Che! Xiong Che! Xiong Che! Joe, I didn't mean to disturb you. All right, all right, I'm going. Hey, hold it! I thought you were seeing me through, Tracy. Hey, Kim! Ang Ma is hurrying things a bit, isn't he? Wait a minute. Hey, what's the boss doing, welching on me? I don't want firewood left with these guys. I want him with me and my truck. Ang Ma is waiting to hear your plan for taking Shan Lu. Now, listen, you tell him to carry out his part of the bargain, I'll carry out mine. Does he want to lose face? But your plan, Mr. Tracy. Listen, did Napoleon blab out his plans? Did Washington run off at the lip? He says Napoleon and George Washington were great generals. Well, that's the kind of a guy I am. Now tell him to take firewood to my truck. Put him in the truck. Now look, I want machine guns front and rear in these two trucks, see? Mine and the number two buggy. He suggests it would be an excellent idea to rush to town with all the trucks. Oh, no, you tell him I'm going into Shenlu with just two trucks. See? We'll slam through that marketplace and go through the gate in the wall. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. That, that gate is a bottleneck. A kid with a cap pistol could keep an army out of that square. But the same kid could let him through, yeah? In other words, Mr. Tracy, you're that kid. That's right. Now, I'll need a volunteer for the second truck. Young yet, go yen. Say that, you got here. Never mind. I've got one. All right, Kip, you, uh, you ride with me, huh? I don't like my cab passengers to get shot, so... Climb in back and keep low and undercover, huh? One's around the park, Mr. Tracy.
There's a square. Well, there's nobody in sight. It doesn't look as though it'll be any harder than to spin up Riverside Drive. Hey, look at that darn fool. Hey, come back here. Do it. Try to crash through the gate back there. It's too late to warn them. A machine gun's on a balcony, I'll butcher them. Chung King, we're heading for Tokyo, Yokohama, and points east. Let's go! Yeah. 